This poor girl posted on TikTok about how her ex-boyfriend destroyed all her car's windows in response to their breakup. And someone just had to be like that. You picked them. You had to have a bad boy. Well, this is what they do. Do you expect something different? Yeah, just a little sympathy. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Justice. Today we're talking nice guys. Let's do it. What's up? Chillin'. Okay. You a girl? Yes, hello, well. You will date me. I don't think so. You will be my girlfriend. This is not a question. Look out your window. I'm already out there waiting for you. Hi, I'm Jack's friend. I'm a bit worried about dating a single mother, but I have seen your pictures and you are incredible. Amazing eyes. Your figure? Wow. Hi. Wow. Thanks for the compliment. I guess. I'm a bit worried about dating a guy who's a bit worried about me being a single mother. Not a great opener, to be honest. I'll pass. Good luck to you. Just like that? Yeah. I'm not hard up for company. Take care. Oh, okay. Sure, guys chase you now, sexy thing. Just wait until you're 35 and no one wants you. Ah, uh, sweetie, <laughs> I'm 35 right now. <laughs> and I have several guys that want me, including you. This is weird, because I used to babysit you when you were little, and you were such a brat. But you seem really mature and chill now, so I was wondering if you wanted to hook up. No, dude. Stuck up, chick! I could have had my way with you back then, and I didn't. I feel like you owe me this after I tolerated your BS. <laughs> Hello, L. Uh, okay, fine. You can hit it once. For real? H huh? No, you freaking baby lover. Get out of my DMs. Um, I don't mean to sound sexist, but I'm a guy. I for damn sure not gonna let a teenage boy or a grown man babysit my daughter. Can I ask you something? What do you want to know? I want to know how you feel deep down, sweetheart, because I never meant to hurt you. Deep down, I feel like I love my boyfriend and he's the only one for me. You know what else? What else? I don't give a frick. That changed drastically. I'm talking about you and me, not your freaking BF. Keep mentioning him and I'ma block you. No need, I'll block you. Hey, sugar, how are you? That talk last night, I meant it. We both are great. Mostly because of me. How modest of you. But I'm not putting you down, baby. <laughs> Talk! Don't leave me here alone, you horse. You haven't changed one bit, have you? Congrats. Number blocked. You are over yourself. You aren't even pretty. I was only with you to show people I'm an awesome, cool, and nice guy. Here, crawl back into that ditch you crawled out of, you hideous thing. Frick you, chick! Well, this guy sounds like a premium grade... Ding dong. I turned a guy down this morning and he blew the frick up. Like he was hitting on me, calling me beautiful, offering to buy me coffee, etc. And I said, I'm very flattered, but I'm married. Sorry. And now I'm a lying, fat, ugly, stupid, worthless country. And he was just kidding and would never go after a girl like me. <laughs> and I'm also going to die alone. How wonderful. Ah, <sighs> some men these days. I have been nothing but a good guy to her. And then you show up only to try to foil my plan. Dude, I don't even like her, so chill out. No wonder your attempts are failing. You are a creep. You liar! Don't make me eliminate you. <laughs> eliminate me, dude? What are you, an assassin? Your hair looks small. Okay. You can't freaking take a compliment, huh? That was meant to be a compliment? Yes! I came up with it myself. Now say thank you. Trying to explain my opinion on why I think girls at 18 years of age are too young for marriage. You're not saying anything new though. What makes that age too young? They're developed. They can carry children. So women's only job is to carry your children? That's it? That's the only reason they exist on this planet so that you can have your child? Huh? It's a big reason. They also raise them and teach them. See? Three jobs. Hi. You're hot! Thanks. I have a boyfriend, by the way. I can treat you better than he can. 
Come to me. I'm all right, thanks. I'll treat you like the princess you are. Don't pop up to me then. I knew you were like this. I hate you. Oh my goodness. I was just being friendly, LMAO. I'm slag shaming you. Why, LMAO? Because you led me on by texting me. Slag. I don't watch porn. Very good if you don't watch, though. I like women like you. Maybe there are still women like you out there. If you like people that don't watch porn, why do you watch it? Because opposites attract. I watch it all and you watch none. Plus, it's for research purposes. I won't pick this because I don't know you, B. You can just send your titties for the moment and see if you want to have some fun. I can send you too. LMAO. Um, I'll pass. Please? Let me say this again. No. Why the frick did you take a screenshot? Because it's pissing me off that you keep asking when I've already clearly said no. I don't want to send you any freaking pictures of me, dude. Don't freaking care about that. Just why the frick did you take a screenshot, chick? I'm so freaking glad I said no to you. I took a screenshot to show my friends. Oh, and I'll be taking another one too, since you're being such a whiner about it. You better not post this on Reddit. Could Thanos just like, calm down? Why he want to be ruler of the universe anyway? Universe ain't done nothing cool. Want to know what is cool? Laser tag. Why can't he just calm down, buy a laser tag place, and earn a steady income with the lasers? Great idea. We can't get the actual reason in the movie because Fox owns Deadpool. But the entire Infinity War is because Thanos is in love with Death, who is in love with Deadpool. So Thanos wants to destroy the universe and kill as many people as possible to win Death's heart. We've been robbed some quality interactions since Deadpool isn't in this movie, and they probably won't include Death. Ah, so basically Thanos is an entitled frick boy that was turned down and went on a killing spree because he feels like he's owed a relationship. Huh, didn't think I could have more reason to hate Thanos. And yet, here I am, hating him more. Actually, I do know the first thing about comfort. Have you ever comforted a person you love the most and then watched them die? Have you ever comforted your mother as she cried while standing over her best friend as she quickly died? Sorry I hurt you, and I do know how to speak to women. Don't know what I was doing, but come to know nice guys finish last. Every I just try to get to know a woman without getting sexual fast. They move or I get ignored, or they lose interest. I'm a good guy. I'm not going to try to persuade you. You ignored me the whole time I was just trying to talk. And then the moment things get lustful, you do that. But that's okay. Sorry, your cat died. You said all this to apologize for a dead cat? Thought you were pretty. But I can't be a guy and hit on you. Or be sexually attractive to you. Because it's wrong, right? This long ass text is wrong. When it's 2020 and women are begging to be choked, slapped, and degraded, but you were raised to be a gentleman. Years of academy training wasted! My grip isn't strong enough to choke her. So, not a risk-loving kind of girl. That's cool. Maybe we can do something, though. What is it? Sexual game I made up involving voice chat. No thanks. So much for cheering you up, but okay. Oh, sincerest apologies. How could I forget that the payment for nice things is sexual favors? Oh, now an attitude. <laughs> LOL, cute. I can see why you're always mopey. Have a good one. I'ma take my ding dong and bang bang game somewhere else. Hey, it's John from Plenty of Fish. Thanks for the number. You're stunning. So what are you up to? Hey, thanks, LOL. I'm at work right now. I'll text you when I'm off. Sounds good, beautiful. You should head to my place when you're off. We can have some fun. Your lips are just, mmm. I bet you do amazing things with that mouth. I think that's one of the creepiest things that guys say to women. You sure got a pretty mouth. Where do you work? I can meet you there. So, is that a no? Hello? Remember like two seconds ago when I said I was at work and I text you when I'm off? I'm still at work. Please stop blowing up my phone. I don't think I'm interested in meeting up with you anymore. Have a good night. What the frick? Why, because I texted you? 
You gave me your freaking number, and I just wanted to be nice and tell you you were beautiful and show my interest in you. Guess that's what the frick I get for being a nice guy, right? So what, you're just not going to answer now? Frickin' chick, you're lost. Guessing you're one of those chicks who likes douchebags, aren't you? What the frick ever, you're lost. All right, everybody, that's all we have for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it to the end, then you are awesome sauce, my friend. Make sure you stay up to date by following the Snapchat and the Twitter. Until next time, justice served.